Westbury, west of Johannesburg. This is where guns won't fall silent. And this is where hope is dissolved by a death. On the streets, bullet riddled bodies. It's a familiar sight. It's a miracle that I still have my arm. Stephen is among the survivors of a recent shooting. He and his friend were attacked on a pavement at night. I just started hearing gunshots like over 16. Torn with agony, they had to run for their lives. I ran and my friend collapsed immediately because the bullet went straight into his spine. One in the arm, one in the ribs, and my friend still in hospital, paralyzed. Now back at home to recover, Stephen has had a bullet carved out of his upper arm. The bullet entered here and took my bone pierced through my skin, which it's hard for me actually to quite lift or move excessively. Do you think you were targeted? I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, mistaken identity, and from there, you know, all hell broke loose. Lucky and grateful to be alive. But Westbury's escalating turf wars are not restricted to the night's darkness. This teenage boy was caught in a daylight gun battle at a street corner this past week. One bullet went past his heart out by, by his arm, his left arm, and then the other one went from his chest to his back. His lungs were collapsed uh, because of the internal um, bleeding. They drained the blood and he was losing lots of blood. When I went there, I thought, oh my word, I hope he's going to be okay because he was in so much pain, he couldn't breathe on his own. The motive behind the attacks remains unknown. Westbury is itching to go back to normality, but the fear is palpable on the streets amid a self-imposed lockdown. Sometimes I just cross and anything can happen. It's after six, seven o'clock, you think twice to go out. I'm scared. I will not go out. Criminologist Kolofelo Rakubu has been looking into Westbury's deadly gang violence. She knows better than most the mindset of a criminal. Criminal is a rational thinker. They plan, they strategize. And with what is happening today, they have an understanding that South African law enforcement is not prepared uh, because they, they, they have identified suitable target and vulnerability of the community and absence of a capable guardian. Absence of a capable guardian can be the police. Now they've realized that capable guardian is incapable. We fully agree that the numbers, uh, the, the boots on the ground will definitely increase. To be more straightforward is that there are people that have moved from Cape Town uh, to, to create the new fiefdoms here, to create the new chaos. Maybe it is on that score that uh, the game, we must up our game as the police uh, to make sure that whether you come from Cape Town or any other part of South Africa to be here, we need to deal with those, we need to deal with those matters. For now, the sound of gunshots will keep haunting Stephen. Every gunshot that I hear, it still leaves me running. I still feel unsafe. I feel anxiety at night. Until culprits are rounded up, Westbury will keep drowning in blood and grief as West Park Cemetery continues to become a regular meeting place. Living in Westbury is hoping to see another day. Any day can be the last and anyone can be a victim anytime. SABC News, Westbury on the west of Johannesburg.